CBS 4's Brooke Schaefer begins our team coverage now. She is live from the command center with the latest. Brooke, good morning. Hey, Francis and Maribel, good morning. Yeah, today, day six of search and rescue, and that is important. This is still a search and rescue mission. At last check, officials told us those search and rescue crews were going through the rubble, looking for voids, looking for spaces where anybody could potentially be safe under the debris. Rescuers continued to chip away at the concrete rubble as the search for survivors continues in Surfside. The number of people accounted for now stands at 136, with 150 unaccounted for. The number of confirmed deaths is 11. The latest victims identified by police as Marcus Guara, Frank Kleiman, and Michael Altman. As we come across a, a small void, that's what we continue to focus and continue moving, continue digging through deeper to see if we find anything further. This morning marks day six of search and rescue. Officials say they're still hopeful, but as crews work to find people under the rubble, the task is difficult. We're trying to do things as safe as possible so that we don't get hurt, our dogs don't get hurt, and also so that if there is any survivors, so that they don't get further hurt. Steve Rosenthal survived the collapse, rescued from his balcony. And I heard people yelling, help me, help me, get me out. That was pretty scary. At this time, it still hasn't been determined what caused the catastrophic collapse, but there were apparent concerns. An engineer's report from 2018 showed the Champlain Towers South condo building had abundant cracking in the concrete columns and walls in the parking garage and major structural damage to a concrete slab caused by failed waterproofing that, if not repaired in a timely fashion, would cause the concrete to deteriorate. And Francis and Maribel, just over my shoulder here at the command center, you can see the manpower here in Surfside. And just to give you a little bit of perspective, officials told us yesterday that the number of crews here in Surfside right now are the same amount that were deployed for Hurricane Michael, and that was a Category 5 hurricane. Francis and Maribel. And Brooke, we've been talking about the emotional impact of families getting to visit that collapse site, but apparently also from visiting, they got some relief or sense of assurance that fire crews are doing everything they can, correct? Yeah, absolutely. They've been hearing that families were frustrated with how slowly the search and rescue is moving, and I think we can all certainly understand that. And so a couple of days ago, some families of victims were able to come out to the site. They were able to see those search and rescue crews in action, and we were told that they actually witnessed one of the rescuers fall about 25 feet down the pile of rubble. So that really kind of gave them some perspective as to how dangerous this search and rescue is. They are working tirelessly, but yes, it is a slow process and unfortunately it is far from over. Ladies? Now we were told yesterday the family members were taken by buses mm -hmm. to the actual site to see it and they were praying and um, they were seeing everything that was going on. Brooke, thank you so much for your live report.